Yo, what's up, Super Fun Force? Welcome to another Beyblade Lab. K Captain Gagamesta's here, and I got the Astral Sprig guy. Look at that, currently in high mode, as you can see here, and I am actually really, really liking this bay. It looks incredible. It is one of the best looking ones in such a long time, and overall, the Dynamite Beyblades just look really, really impressive. As you can see, with each new release, they're getting larger, they're getting more heavyweight, so it's definitely becoming something like a evolution and step up. Boom, also on the kit here I have the Cyclone. And I really like this blue with the clear. Now I'm happy because that means I can keep my original orange one safe without it being damaged too much since this is the chase. And I can just use this one and I like the blue. We mean, you know, like for Ragnarok fans, you know, and Rantaro, Kiyama, and all those characters. I mean, this is the trademark orange color, but I prefer the blue with the white. And I also got the blue Ragnarok core from the dynamite layer, which is also my favorite dynamite layer. And I like this match match going on. The matchy match. All right, and to look at some of the parts here with Astral Spriggan, this is when he's in left spin mode. So he spins that way. And when he does so, he has the rubber on the top. And then, of course, if you flip him over, this is the right spin mode. So he's going to spin that way. And has more of the metal here. Now, what's interesting, though, I'm going to continue to experiment with this, but it feels like although the rubber is supposedly for left spin only, you know, it, which, I mean, it makes sense because, you know, it's thicker up here, but it's always going to boil down to what makes the contact, right? So in... In retrospect, it could be actually really cool if in right spin mode, the rubber actually makes contact and then it like hits the opposing bay down or even, you know, even just hits them away like with a uh, smash attack. The piece here is mostly just for the weight, I would say, right? Because it basically just creates more of a distribution of weight here. And then of course the rubber across that way. But again, I still really, really like the design it definitely is more aggressive than World, because if we look at the World Ring, ba -bam, this one is definitely more circular, more made for stamina and defense. This one, I would say, is an even greater balance between attack, stamina, and some defense, where this is more, I would say, stamina, defense. All right, so right now I have it in high mode, which means the armor is on top of the core. And then, as you can see here, we're going to pop the core out. And then, essentially, what you want to do is you want to put the core underneath the side that you want it to be spinning from. And then, essentially, this would make it back into low mode. So now we could put the over disc and it will sit way more flush. So let's take a look at the forger disc. It is really powerful, it has a very high weight. And, you know, it is kind of boring in a sense. But, I mean, it serves its purpose because, you know, the forged disc is mainly supposed to be the weight. It does also add on to the attack pattern, perhaps. When you have it something that is even like this, then it's going to create centrifugal force that lets it spin. You know, if you have ones that are more aggressively and uneven shaped, that could create different movement patterns, attacks. And finally, when you have different... Um, designs or patterns here they could actually make contact and be you know attacking and defending themselves which i'll quickly talk about the new longinus that's coming out which does have the karma with the uh, spikes on it that's going to be really interesting i'm going to quickly digress for a second here because bam i still think rage might be a little bit more powerful or at least i'd prefer playing because again the advantage to this is you have the fused layer, which, let me show here. You have the fused layer here, which is definitely made to create the upper attack. So the new one, apparently, it seems like it just took the metal here, added one here, boom, took the metal here, added one here, boom. So far, it looks flat, which means it's going to have more weight, so it's probably going to hit harder from the side. But then the under portion here with the forge disc is going to be instead it looks like it also might just be even and just having all those protruding spikes so essentially you're going to have more of a traditional attacking 
Beyblade, but what they're saying is it's still supposed to do upper and lower attack. So who knows, maybe these spikes will be at different levels. And maybe even these two heads here will probably maybe slant because right now we've only been able to see the um, flat top down views. So that might all change when we see it here. But the other interesting thing is when it comes with the L gear, the metal dragons that are going to go boom on top of the dynamite layer, you have to put it in high mode. So that might decrease its effectiveness because right now the dynamite combo with F gear is really, really powerful on Giga and Never. I mean, this is hard to beat. And the fact that it's very low, super low, is part of what makes this combo very powerful. So regardless, I'll be interested in seeing the testings and, and the results with that. And back to Astral Spriggan. So definitely a great combo. I've been doing a lot of tests with it so far. It's very powerful. The uh, Quattro Driver. I'm having more success with this on other combos because what makes this really powerful and exciting right now is the fact that like technically under the D WBBA rules or when you go to a tournament, when everyone, you know, the two opponents reveal their bays, you're allowed to change this or change your spin direction. The defense, which is a circle metal ball here, does have a little bit of an aggressiveness to it. So like it has the ability to get hit and roll, but then it can kind of come back and attack strong. And then basically what you want to do is there's two tabs here on the side of Quattro. And then what you're going to, you're going to do is push those down towards the tip. And then when you do that, this pops up and then now you can rotate, right? So we have the balance type here, rubber around plastic. We have the stamina type, which is a metal uh, tip, sharp tip. And then finally we have the attack type, which is just a flat rubber. So, so far I feel like, you know, each one is decent. I mean, this one is kind of like extreme. This also came with the kit, extreme metal. Now let me tell you, just one battle with this, testing it on my Sabir Valkyrie already started to nick the teeth pretty badly right there. So I'm like, yeah, basically be very careful because right now these are going to mess up plastic teeth, which also leads me to my prediction I've talked about in my other podcast is, could the new Longinus have metal teeth? right? That will actually match the driver because that one comes with a metal destroy. And quite frankly, I'm really happy just having the destroy dash. However, who knows if we don't see that in dynamite battle, maybe the next series will start to introduce more metal drivers and more metal teeth. I think that would be pretty exciting. That being said, uh, the other thing that's also interesting, you know, um, so basically this is kind of a comparable version of each, right? In some ways better, some ways not. I mean, this might be heavier than the extreme driver, so that's kind of an advantage. Uh, this one here also comparable to Metal Orbit. Metal Orbit uh, came out towards the end of the GT series. It's kind of struggling to find a really strong combo so far. Uh, I've been testing it a lot, but it just doesn't have the stamina to compete right now with other stamina bays. But uh, again, this one has a little bit more weight, uh, and again, it's able to be a little bit more aggressive. All right, so as far as this one being on Astral Spriggan, I still think it's a fine combo. It does hit a little bit high, so be aware of that. So, And lastly, it comes with a handle from the Ripcord, basically the same as you see here. It's, it's pretty much the exact same thing. So if you ever get this, you know, damage or loss, you know, you can just maybe buy one of these and take it off perhaps. But essentially you need this because uh, these two tabs here is what lets you change the spin direction here. So essentially, you can tell when this tab switches that the spin direction will switch. So right now, if you look at it here, you can see that these tabs are up and then you're going to want to grab, you're going to basically want to close these tabs here. Then you're going to want to put this until it sits tight and flush. And then when you turn it, you can see the two uh, plastic pieces here switching that way, right? So now that it's tightened all the way to the left, it's to the left. If you turn it and tighten it to the right, it's a right spin. All right, boom. Let's try a quick battle here just to see how the top tier combos work. We're going to drop that dynamite on Giga Never, and then I'm going to go ahead and give this the uh, stamina tip, and let's just see how it goes. Now again, it's kind of an issue where Astral Spriggan is getting it knocked off balance a little bit. As you can see, it's getting wobbled and shook just because that dynamite layer is so low. So it's gonna be close. Ooh, that looked like that actually ended in a drop. Let's see how it goes again.
As you can see, both of them now with the rubber sides able to make some attacks, you know, rubber effigy on dynamite, and of course, Astral has rubber on its layer. Oh man, so close, it like catches it. Well, there you go. That might be the best matchup. Now for this, I'm pretty sure Astral can defeat Vanish, just because it's already a left spin as well. And basically, Vanish, yeah. See, Vanish, its weakness is other left spin base, essentially. Oh, not too shabby. And let's see if it takes on custom rage. Holy crumoly. Alright, let's try that again. Now, obviously, this is on left spin. It might even do better on right spin. It's not a dash driver, so it is going to be a little bit more prone to bursting. But let's launch them a little bit farther away. There you go. Rage getting its attack in, and the batter's over quickly. Alright, nice. Whoa, nice knockout. Let's get another one in there. All right, here it goes. So with this combo, it, mo it moves around the tornado ring. The possibility of knocking out other bays in the beginning, which puts it at somewhat of a risk as well. Then it goes in, and then it comes down to stamina. Let's see. Left spin, stamina against dynamite, who's gonna take it? Ooh, close again. Yeah, this actually matches like the Louis color scheme right here. I got the white knight with the purple F gear. Man, F gear was such a huge upgrade to this, for sure. I mean, the dynamite layer already has a really nice shape. But now the uh, F gear made a huge difference. And it's only getting heavier, right? Because the Venture Disc. Yeah, there you go. See, so this combo definitely gives it final spin. You gotta watch for it, but now you can definitely defeat this meta combo. The only thing to see is how this evolves once the L gear comes out. But like I said, when you put L gear on here, now it's gonna have to be in high mode. That might actually defeat this combo, right? It might, not, it might weaken this combo, but there might be another one. So we'll have to see. Maya, you could definitely see just how beat up this is. I might have to get another one, man. This thing has been through a lot of competitive use and practicing, and it is definitely showing. But there you go, it's an incredible kit. I think this is a wonderful, I mean like just getting all of the parts is fantastic. Again, you get the cyclone layer, you get a chip for it as well, or the core. You also get, as you can see here, I have to do some more videos eventually, but you also get a wave dash driver. Boom, you get a wave dash driver, which is supposed to be another good stamina balance type. You also get again the metal extreme, you get a metal survive, and you get a blitz gold and blue version that right now I have on one of my other combos. But again, today's focus was on the astral. I do have some great combos with this for sure. So super close, but again, as you can see, Astral Spriggan holding its own 100% against Dynamite. I'm sure with some more custom tweaking, we'll see these guys for sure in the competitive meta. I'm still gonna put my, um, I guess my favor towards Astral Spriggan just with the diversity of being able to flip it. Of course, we can't count Dynamite out. You know, you can obviously add the, uh, the Venture Driver that's souped up, and then now you also have the S gear. One more thing before I got, uh, forgot to mention almost, and then basically, you can put this on as a free spinning, or you can also make it stationary. And the way you do so is basically by lining up the side. So right now, as you can see, the way the blades face to the left, it's free spinning. Pop it off, flip the frame over, and then it'll be stationary. And I will say that I have tested the Nexus S gear versus Giga because this actually weighs more now with the frame. But Giga is still better because the distribution goes naturally higher out with the metal. This is a little bit more attack as far as like the different areas here. You know, it's still kind of even, but you know, you have these areas here. It's kind of like square. So it does still have more of a voof, 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 rather than a like, you know, smooth spin. 
you know, slight, there's slight angles here. But the other issue is this does scrape a little bit, right? Because you can see just how wide the, uh, the S gear is. So again, probably better for attack types or if you want this to make more contact. So technically, this is still better with Giga. All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Boom, this is definitely a must buy. This upgrade kit has so many positives to it. Just the Spriggan itself is incredible, but again, you get extra drivers, you get extra forge discs, and you get extra energy layers. All right, thanks so much for hanging out, guys. I got more fun stuff on the way and some other competitive tips. So don't forget, keep spreading that positive love, keep your faith, keep saying the prayers, like and subscribe. Captain Games will be coming back at you. Peace.